I'm just going to say something that <clears throat> you're probably not going to want like to hear right at first, but I love P90X. Not because of any results that someone gets or, or doesn't get, but simply because it's created a lot of low back pain patients for me. It's made me a lot of money. And I wish I was joking, it really has, I'm not kidding. And uh, I've been meaning to like send them a thank you card or something, but I haven't gotten to it. But the, the problem is that on that program, and you know, in a lot of gyms, I see people trying to do uh, abdominal exercises or being asked to do abdominal exercises that their abs are simply not strong enough to actually do with good form because the hip flexors love to get involved in abdominal exercises, especially the psoas. And so on an anatomical level, what happens, especially at the, with, with abdominal exercises like leg lifts um, or planks is a good example, the psoas you know, runs from the inside, kind of upper hip, and attaches to uh, the lumbar spine at all, all segments. So it's not just a hip flexor in that it pulls the, the hip up, but it pulls from the other direction too, right? So if it's pulling from the lumbar spine, what it does is <clears throat> it'll, pull, it'll pull you kind of down and into an anterior pelvic tilt or a low back arch. And so what, that, what happens is that if they're repeatedly getting pulled in that position, uh, into that position, it's compressing all the structures in the low back and then they end up with pain. Now, if you have abdominals that are strong enough to counteract that, create that posterior pelvic tilt, and you keep a neutral spine, then you're fine, and they're fine. But um, what I've seen is that a lot of people are doing exercises without that abdominal strength.